for decades, Voyager 2 drifted silently beyond the planets, slipping past the outer giants, vanishing into the cold darkness where no other human creation had ever dared to go. It was supposed to be a five-year mission, a brief glimpse at Jupiter and Saturn before fading into history. But the universe had other plans. Now, as Voyager 2 nears the end of its long life, its final transmissions have revealed something extraordinary. Something that could rewrite everything we thought we knew about the edges of our cosmic home. A region not calm and empty, but wild, turbulent, and unlike anything science had predicted. And what Voyager 2's final data proves is something the world has chosen to ignore for far too long that the boundary between our solar system and the dark beyond is not a wall. It's a battlefield, and it's still shaping everything we know. Join us on this cosmic journey as we explore the Voyager 2's final images. Just stop the world. Let's find out. When NASA launched Voyager 1 and 2 back in 1977, no one truly believed they would survive more than a few years. Designed for a quick sprint past Jupiter and Saturn, the probes were little more than fragile bundles of ingenuity strapped to Titan Centaur rockets. Yet, somehow, against all odds, the Voyagers endured. They used a rare planetary alignment, a once in 176 years opportunity, to slingshot around the giants, picking up speed and power with every encounter. Gravity itself became their engine, hurling them toward the unknown. Voyager 2 didn't just visit Jupiter and Saturn. It swept past Uranus and Neptune, the only probe in history to do so before aiming for the true unknown, the boundaries of the heliosphere, the vast bubble created by our sun's solar wind. By 2018, Voyager 2 had crossed the heliopause, officially leaving the sun's direct influence. And what it found beyond wasn't the serene void scientists had predicted. It was something far stranger. Crossing the heliopause was supposed to be simple. According to the best models, the sun's solar wind would slow, sputter out, and give way cleanly to the interstellar medium. A quiet sea of ancient particles and cosmic dust. But when Voyager 2 made the crossing, the data told a different story. The probe detected no change in the magnetic field direction, a finding so shocking that it mirrored what Voyager 1 had observed six years earlier. Scientists had expected a distinct shift as the sun's magnetic influence ended. Instead, the magnetic field remained stubbornly unchanged, suggesting a far messier, tangled frontier than anyone had imagined. More than that, the distance at which Voyager 2 crossed the heliopause about 120 astronomical units from the Sun, was identical to Voyager 1's crossing point despite being in different regions and under different solar conditions. It defied every expectation. Models had predicted the heliopause should expand and contract with the solar cycle, but the data showed no such breathing. It was as if the boundary were locked, twisted by forces much older, and much more powerful than we ever dared to imagine. Before reaching the heliopause, Voyager 2 passed through a strange, chaotic region known as the Heliosheath, a place where the solar wind slows down, heats up, and piles up against the forces of interstellar space. But Voyager's instruments revealed something unexpected. This boundary wasn't smooth. It wasn't a clean transition. Instead, the solar magnetic field spun in opposite directions by the sun's rotating poles formed giant magnetic bubbles. Huge structures stretching billions of kilometers, tangled and stacked like cosmic foam. These magnetic bubbles are dynamic, shifting and clashing, making the outer boundary of our solar system a turbulent, violent frontier. The once clear image of the sun's influence, ending neatly at a smooth line, dissolved. In its place rose a picture of chaotic magnetism, of overlapping spheres of plasma and particle storms, a tangled net woven from the wreckage of solar and interstellar forces colliding. Voyager 2 didn't just see the border of our system, 
it plunged into a cosmic battleground. The chaos Voyager 2 detected may have a deeper, older origin than anyone realized. Some scientists now believe that our entire heliosphere, the magnetic shield protecting Earth and the inner planets, is warped and scarred by ancient forces. Billions of years ago, the Sun may have been born in a turbulent region rich with magnetic fields. Left over from long-dead supernovae, these primordial scars could still be rippling through the heliosphere today, creating the strange magnetic signatures and the chaotic boundaries Voyager detected. If that's true, it means that the very edges of our solar system aren't shaped by our sun alone, but by the echoes of ancient cataclysmic events. Events that still whisper through space, bending magnetic fields, twisting plasma, and reshaping the frontier every day. Voyager 2's final data isn't just a snapshot of the edge of our solar system. It's a map of ancient violence, a relic of the galaxy's wild youth still etched into the invisible forces that shield us from the interstellar dark. For centuries, humanity imagined the solar system as a secluded island adrift in a quiet cosmic ocean. We believed the sun's influence was a shield, a boundary that clearly separated us from them, the wild unknown forces of interstellar space. But Voyager 2's final data shattered that comforting illusion. The heliopause, once thought to be a solid wall, is more like a porous, fluctuating veil, constantly battered and penetrated by interstellar plasma and magnetic waves, particles from ancient supernovae, radiation from distant stars, cosmic rays from the furthest corners of the galaxy. All of it leaks through the chaotic bubbles at the edge of the heliosphere. We are not isolated. We are constantly bombarded by the memory of ancient cosmic battles filtered and distorted through the wreckage of our sun's magnetic field. Voyager 2 has proven that space beyond the planets is not a silent void. It is an active, restless battlefield. And Earth, cozy as it seems, is just a small, vulnerable oasis within a storm far bigger than we ever imagined. Even as Voyager 2 was delivering these shocking final messages, the clock was ticking. Launched with a five-year life expectancy, these ancient probes are now approaching half a century in space. Their power supplies, fueled by the decay of plutonium-8838, are steadily dwindling. Instrument after instrument is being switched off, not because the probes are failing, but because there simply isn't enough energy to keep them alive. NASA engineers have been rationing the last dregs of energy, like sailors marooned at sea, squeezing out every possible bite of precious data before the lights go out forever. Within a few short years, perhaps by 2025, Voyager 2 will fall silent. Its last sensors will blink off. Its final signal will fade into the static of interstellar space. And when that happens, humanity will lose its oldest, most loyal explorers, not with a crash, not with a fiery end, but with a whisper swallowed by the endless dark. A chapter of exploration that will never be repeated exactly the same way again. As Voyager 2's data pours in, a darker question emerges one that scientists hesitate to ask out loud. If the boundary of our solar system is far more chaotic, violent, and porous than we thought, what else could be slipping through? Cosmic rays are already known to influence Earth's atmosphere and even play a small role in cloud formation. But what if larger, more dangerous phenomena occasionally breach the shield? Massive plasma storms, rogue magnetic fields, even the faint echoes of long-dead supernovae still carrying destructive potential. The idea that the solar system is quietly enduring a constant assault from the galaxy's ancient past is both thrilling and terrifying. And the real horror? Without probes like Voyager 2, we would have never known it was happening at all. Perhaps the greatest gift Voyager 2 has left us is not a simple discovery, but a lesson in humility. 
For decades, we built neat models of the heliosphere, picturing it as a teardrop, a shield protecting us from the unknown. Voyager's data smashed those models to pieces. The reality is not elegant. It's not symmetrical. It's fractured, twisted, unstable. A map scribbled by chaotic forces far beyond our comprehension. We thought we understood the shape of our place in the galaxy. We were wrong. And now, with Voyager 2's final transmissions, we see the truth. Our solar system is not a fortress. It is a fragile outpost, trembling at the edge of a vast, ancient, unpredictable universe. And as the last signals fade, we are left not with answers, but with the haunting certainty that the real mysteries are only just beginning. Voyager 2 was never meant to last this long. It was never meant to cross the heliopause, to chart the chaos beyond the sun's reach, to whisper back from the dark shores of interstellar space. And yet, it did. With its final transmissions, Voyager 2 has left us a cosmic legacy that no future mission will ever truly replicate. A glimpse into a universe far more violent, tangled, and alive than we ever dared to imagine. It has shown us that the edges of our solar system are not a protective wall, but a stormy frontier where ancient forces still battle. It has proven that the maps we drew in the comfort of our laboratories were illusions, shattered by the raw, unpredictable reality of the cosmos. And now, as Voyager 2's voice grows fainter with each passing day, we are left with a haunting truth. We are not isolated. We have never been safe. And the universe, beyond our fragile bubble, is wild, untamed, and ready to remind us, at any moment, just how small we really are. Thanks for joining us on this cosmic journey. Please tell us your opinions in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the video on your screen for more mind-bending content. Until next time, keep gazing at the stars. This is Cosmic Inquiries, signing off.